thumping. I would call it thumping just because I feel like conventional slapping um, it's just basically a percussive one hit, you know? But I'm getting a bit more note and I'm getting two strokes per per stroke. Two note, yeah. So I'll, I'll go into how I'm doing that. Basically, um, like I said, you can produce a downstroke and an upstroke, right? So I'm using, I'd say, half nail and half like flesh of my thumb. It's probably close to what most classical players are doing where there's a combination of that hard surface of your nail and then a bit of your flesh because you get a bit of attack but then you also get that that other thing, you know? So, um... Man, I just feel like... More. Okay, yeah, so, two strokes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. So sometimes you can hammer on the first note and then Thump two to get a group of three. Like that. Or you can do a group of three by adding your index finger. So you have one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Like that. And then from there, I mean, you could do a hammer on and a group of three to get a group of four. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Like that. Or you could do a group of three on this finger, so on this hand. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that'd be a group of four. My bad, yeah. So you have. Like that. Um, then you can add you can add this finger and then four fingers here to get a group of five. So one, two, three, four, five. be a group of five then you could um <laughs> yeah it's like the sky's the limit or you run out of fingers uh lately i've been adding my third or my ring finger so now i can do a group of five with one hand um and i've, I've taken a slightly different approach to it um instead of thumping one note i've maybe do a double stroke on one string and then two on another string and then use my third finger or my fourth finger to produce a, a fifth note so um, Some pretty cool, like interesting sounds, you know. Um, hmm. Okay, so I've started to use my pick instead of my thumb, right, just to to change things up. So now I'm hammering on certain notes and then picking other notes. So, um, let's see. so it'd be like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the four and five occur here, and the first three occur here. Um, some pretty cool interesting sounds so you know just moving that same uh, I'm doing the same groups of 
numbers. I'm just d changing the notes. But um, sonically, I don't know how you would describe it, but I think it sounds pretty interesting. You can even do stuff like basic triplet. <laughs> You know, I'm just hammering the first note and then doing the remaining two notes with my pick. Yeah, so it has a very cool sound and it doesn't sound like slapping either, but it's almost some of the same mechanics. So I like doing that. And then there's more melodic approaches. Um, Sky's the limit with that, I think. It's a lot of fun. I think Victor Wooten has some pretty like explicit explanations on how to kind of start developing that stuff, so YouTube is your friend. Was yeah. Reggie also? Yeah, I mean Reggie is the master. I think he taught Vic how to do that stuff. And I learned from a guy who learned from Reggie. So yeah, God bless those dudes. Do you need the hitchhiker's thumb or is that just like uh, you don't need a hitchhiker's thumb. My thumb bends at like a 90 degree angle. So is that guys? We're, we share, share some genetic traits, I guess. Is this yours? Yeah? Yeah, you're almost there. I don't think it helps. Or, I, Can you well, force yourself to get more of a hitchhiker's Can I just like push on this an hour a day? I mean, it's bone, dude. I like, <laughs> wouldn't force it in the direction it doesn't want to go. I, um, I think it's funny with stuff like that. Sometimes we fixate on players like physically, like, oh, he's got really long fingers, so that's how he's doing these lines, but it, or he holds its pick like this, and I should hold my pick like that, but I would disregard most of that within reason. Um, don't do anything that's going to physically, like, hurt yourself, like, give you carpal tunnel or something, but, like, for the most part, like, you know, use a bit of logic, but kind of, don't assume that if you, like, hold your pick or have the same type of thumb as someone, you can end up sounding like them, because... Don't hold your pick like Marty Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> He's like trying to go in reverse or something. I don't know what's happening. It hurts, it works for him though. It hurts to watch. Yeah, it's kind of painful. All right, one more question. I'll do another.